folks, welcome to another Boats and Bits. In this episode, I'm going to cover this Quan Cheng Chinese radio and show you how to program it into marine frequencies. Uh, nothing new for the channel, I've done a few videos now in different Baofeng radios, these type here. This was uh, one I've been given to program. Uh, hopefully, you're watching Gav because this is yours here. Um, but these here radios are pretty cool. Um, they work the same way, you can program them the same way as I'll show you later on. Um, but there's a few differences, improvements. Um, basically, you can dual watch. So I can, at the minute, if you can see there, I have M1 and 16. Uh, tested this out at the weekend. Uh, it worked really well in the boat. I was able to hear the Coast Guard and all the rest on 16 while I was still being able to transmit and receive on M1, uh, which is a really useful feature. Um, the other things it can do that the other doesn't is got an airband. So you can actually switch here. So what I can do is quickly show you, hopefully. So if I click function there, uh, and you can see I've on band two, which I have the frequency programmed in one two eight five hundred, which is supposedly Belfast uh, approach, and that's an AM. Now you can't transmit on that, so don't worry about taking planes down or anything like that. There, um, you can transmit on the uh, marine frequencies um, and receive. Now the receive seemed to be pretty good. I was picking up Belfast Post Guard out in the boat on Loch Ney, uh, which I wasn't. I never seemed to ever remember doing that. Maybe it's because I hadn't dual watch, but I never actually had been able to pick that up. Uh, so this definitely seems a big improvement. Uh, the reception also seemed good into our boat when we were doing the race and things like that there as well. Um, good and chunky. Uh, there's a lot more sort of rubbery bits at the side and it's, it kind of feels more maybe waterproof. I know they're not properly waterproof, but uh, splash proof anyway. Uh, it uses the same connection ports as the Beofang. So it's got the, the wee one and the big one. Uh, so you your headsets and your, your walkie talkie thingies. Uh, it also, uh, uses the exact same programming cable as the Beofang, so you can actually program it using the same software, uh, and I'm going to show that shortly. Um, but yes, there's a lot of cool stuff. So you've got airband, you've got the normal FM, and then obviously I'll show you how to do the, the marine frequencies. Uh, there's a couple of other stuff you can do, custom firmwares and things like that. There, if you take a look on these here, I'll stick a link down below to the thing the the advert on aliexpress but you can also i'll send a link to this custom firmware where you can do like graphic equalizers and stuff like that there so it's, it's really is pretty nifty so you can actually download some custom firmware now i'm just using the stock because i don't really need any of that out in the boat um but yes there is a ton of stuff that i probably haven't even come across for scanning and stuff like that there uh so yeah it's definitely an improvement on the the Beofang, nothing wrong with Beofang, but they, this seems to be a sort of better all-rounder and um, it's got a few more features uh it's got also got one thing that is pretty cool. So it has the standard charging dock, but it also has the USB-C at the side. Um, so that there means you can charge it with your mobile phone charger rather than having to have a specific bio thing. So I definitely think that's an advantage. Uh, it's got all the wee lights and all the rest. And um, yeah, so yeah, pretty cool radio. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to program it. Um, gotta program it in. I'm just using my standard uh, bio thing programming cable. Works the exact same way. Um, open up the side, um, big bit down at the bottom, all that bit there, and then plug it into the USB. Um, turn the radio on up full. And then what we do is go onto the computer, do a bit of a screen share here now, and show you how to do that there now. We and I how to program this in. We're going to use a program called Chirp. That can be downloaded for free on chirpmyradio.com. Uh, you can see the website here. I'll stick a link down below. Um, what I'll do now is show you how to program it in. So it's all connected, all the rest here automatically. Uh, there's two ways you can do this. I can open, file open, um, and I'll stick a link down below, but I have an image file. Um, there we go, Quan Chang UVK5 image. Um, the reason we want to use that is it's I've got some of the settings set and I'll show you how to do that in the radio after this here video um, but you can kind of see here uh, channel name so things like that there where it displays the names and the reason we want to do that is because we have them programmed in here um, rather than the channel numbers which probably aren't going to make much aren't going to match so you can see 19, 17 stuff like that there so the marine you can kind of see oh, M-R-A-R or sorry M-A-R and uh, so that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is if you don't want to muck up your own settings, if you've got this radio, you can download from radio and it'll come up with a new image. So what it'll do is take the image from your radio and download it. 
with the settings and all the rest. So as you can see, now the, my radio settings and all will be the same. Yours may be different. Um, you can actually go in here and change all these manually uh, before you upload it again. Uh, so you can stick in your FM frequencies, scan lists and things like that there. Uh, so pretty cool and you can do all this DM, DTMF and programmable keys and stuff like that there. So you can change all that from here rather than having to go through the radio. Um, so if I go radio upload to radio, if I go, well this is the first one, so if I go radio upload to radio and then just hit OK, uh, it'll give you the warning and then it'll do the wee upload. Um, and I'll show you how then you change it once you've do downloaded it the other way. So that's just downloading the image, so you don't actually need to go in and change anything there. If you get that image file, you can just upload straight away. Um, okay, and the radio has restarted itself. So if we go in here, the other way of doing it is go in File. Um, oh. So go in here and then Import from File. Uh, so the benefit of this way is uh, quenching import and the reason why i've got two different ones is because the bio fangs have a slightly different structure uh, so this link will the bio fang ones won't work here but i've i've reformatted it to work with the quenching uh, so it works the same frequencies as the other um so there you go uh same thing so instead it doesn't change the settings if you've got your settings you can just do the file import from file um, and then again just upload to radio so it's probably good whenever you're downloading it for the first time, take a backup of the image file and then that'll be able to return to stock at any time. Um, so that's it. So it's very simple to program. I've got, I'll upload the two files onto my Google Drive. I'll stick a link down in the description of the video. Um, so you can get all the information where to buy the radio and whatnot and the cables down there. Uh, so I'll just give it a quick overview here now. So we now have the radio programmed in, uh, so you'll have all the marine frequencies. Um, now, depending on how you have your radio set up, you probably don't have them. It'll come up with frequencies or channel names. What you can do is go into menus, so hit M, and then if you scroll down to, uh, there's a couple of ones I normally do. Vox, I turn that off because that's that, sorry, not vo the voice one. Uh, the beep, first of all, I turn off because it gets a bit annoying. Uh, voice to turn off as well because it's got the, wee, the voice and channel change, all that stuff. Uh, what you want to do here is MDF. So if you hit M again, it'll go over. So the three options here, frequency, channel, and name. So if you stick with name, and then I turn auto lock on as well because uh, it's useful if you're out in the boat or whatever to, to lock the, the, the handset. Uh, if you turn it to name, you'll be able to see that the channels like so. Um, the handy thing is, obviously, with this dual watch, I've got M1 club frequency and Marine 16, so they, they what do you call it, the emergency uh, call and channel, uh, which works quite well. I could hear the Coast Guard, which couldn't do it, I don't think, in the Bayo thing, although it wasn't dual. It wasn't dual bands or dual watch, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yes, for less than 20 quid, you can have a radio that does air bands, so you can listen into airplanes. Not sure you really want to do that in the boat, but you may. Uh, it's got NOAA uh, weather, channels and um, obviously no good to us in the UK but for our US friends and um, you'll be able to access that and um, as well as then of course you've got all your marine frequencies there's a ton of custom firmwares for this here you, you, people buy them and use them as radio scanners because you can actually get listen to frequencies from one megahertz upwards and uh, so they're really really versatile job but as a marine radio for your boat and um, especially for people that probably watched my other videos and seen the bio things and things like that there and um, this is certainly I think a far better radio and um, in around the same price if not a bit cheaper so it was a, a, a watcher actually recommended it so thank you all right folks thanks again for watching and um, check out my other videos i've got some of them on Beofeng ones i've done in the past and i've got other ais stuff and uh, so you're into every techie gadgets i got there check out some of the other videos all right thanks again for watching catch us all again later hit that like and subscribe cheers bye